Okay, this is the uh, electric VW 1965 that we uh, just finished converting. Um, we being uh, m myself and my daughter, Emily. <laughs> um, right now it's charging, although it's nearly fully charged. We keep the chargers in the front, um, right here. Uh, this is the old gas tank, and uh, our neighbor cut the top off the gas tank and uh, we just um, primed the inside and mounted the two chargers uh, in here. I'll explain a little bit later why, there, why there's two chargers. This is a 110 charger, so just goes straight into an ordinary wall socket, and right now it's nearly fully charged and drawing about 1.6 amps. So if we climb into the back of the VW, um, we can see behind the um, back seat we have six Optima deep cycle yellow top batteries. And then if we could pull up this seat right here, we would see another battery here and a battery here. So there's a total of seven yellow top Optimas in here. So we can see the batteries in this box that, that Emily and I built in the back here. Um, this, the five batteries here and the sixth under the rear seat um, are what drive the motor and then the seventh battery is to power the auxiliary systems like uh, brake lights, headlights, blinkers, etc. Uh, that kind of explains why we have two chargers. Um, the little charger in the front charges the, the one battery that drives the auxiliary system, the headlights and so forth. That's this guy right here. And then the large charger is the one that charges the, the stack of six and those six batteries drive the motor. Okay, in the engine compartment um, you see our big 40 horsepower motor that's mounted directly onto the transmission. Um, up here you have a control box. Uh, down here we have the throttle which when you press on the gas um, pulls that forward and uh, that's connected to this control box which controls how much current flows through um, to the motor. Um, the rest of it, uh, this little guy here is a solenoid that closes the circuit when you turn the ignition key. So right now the circuit's open. We don't have to worry about uh, any kind of shock or what have you. So this is a manual, was a manual transmission car. Um, with the electric conversion now we just leave the uh, car in second gear most of the time while we're driving because the motor, the electric motor has a much higher RPM range and so it's not really necessary to shift uh, but if you do want to go in reverse you have to shift into reverse um, that's the only shifting that you do um, here are the equivalent of our gas gauge um, for this car on the left we have a voltmeter and with six 12 volt batteries in there um, you would have well optimally you'd have 72 volts but actually these things charge up to about 13 um, volts. So that puts us up to what, 78 volts in? Yeah. So when it's fully charged it's usually about 78 volts and then when it drops below 70 really we should we need to think about getting it recharged. Um, on the right you have the amp meter which really just shows how much power the motor, how much uh, current the motor's drawing at any particular time. Um, when you really stomp on it, sometimes it'll go up to 250, 300 amps, which is definitely a lot of amps. Uh, the Bug is a pretty good vehicle to convert because there are lots of parts out there for the Bug. Um, it also has uh, manual steering and uh, it doesn't have power brakes. Uh, and so you don't have those extra vacuum pumps and power steering pumps to to worry about. So it's a very simple mechanical system. Um, the electrical system is pretty much just right out in the open there and we, Emily and I spent a lot of time getting that thing straightened out. Um, right now it's running. 
Uh, we've used it quite a lot in the last uh, two days, but uh, you know, I guess we could start restoring it a little bit. It's not really high, uh, a high priority for us. About the only high priority item for uh, that remains is um, the windshield wipers. Um, they we just haven't bothered to get them up and running yet. They're still sitting out here on the bench. Uh, once we get that done, we'll be ready to go into the rainy season.